Hi, this is Mike, and we're looking at the Euro chart today. So for the past week, I haven't posted simply because I needed to shake off some confirmation bias that I could feel lingering within you know my analysis. And you know, over the last few weeks, we have definitely made a lot of inroads in regards to the bigger pattern, the bigger picture, um, understanding the entirety of this move so far since 2008. To me, I believe the one two one two idea is still fitting quite well, and this pullback that we're seeing now is merely just a wave two. Um, hang on, let me just get rid of this a couple of these things here in the way. So this five, we'll get to that in a sec. So what I see now is wave two in progress here. Okay, so wave two will usually come back previous fourth wave you know usually that's 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 the deal um bit of alternation there between the second wave two versus the first wave two right as you can see a lot of a lot of sideways price action there for the first wave two but also we had a small wave one okay now for the second wave two we had a pretty long and choppy wave one and in 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 opposite effect we have a sharp wave two to the upside, right? So that's that's alternation, you know, that's explaining it in a nutshell, that's alternation, right? It's the opposite effect, right? Um, wave one, the first wave one was small, sharp, wave two expanded and lengthy sideways. Green wave one, wave one and wave three, Right, it was a choppy wave one, lengthy sideways type of move, and then wave two, short and sharp. Okay, that's alternation at, at its at, at the core, right? So just to recap on that real quick, need to now move down into the area where we are on the hourly. Okay. So as I mentioned before, I had to shake off some confirmation bias, have a, another good look at this to really dial in what I'm looking at here, because I cannot continue to provide analysis when confirmation bias is making me think things. So just taking a breather, come back fresh. Okay, I'm seeing things a bit clearer now. So here we have, you know, we had a wave one, two, three. So alternation once again, um, <clears throat> alternation in wave two and four okay in a nutshell we had short sharp wave two and we have pretty lengthy sideways wave four for wave c okay now the interesting thing is that at on in wave five we have almost the exact similar thing right so let me go to the 15 minute chart wave five we had one two sharp you know sharp wave two here right and then wave four looks like a b c d e into the cpi numbers and then we had one two three four five okay that's that's how i'm seeing this right now right uh been observing it the whole way through i'm sure i decided to short this yesterday and you know, overnight as the market closed, I'm like, well, this hasn't really moved much and it's looking very choppy. So um, for me, the, the confirmation of this thing having topped out already, it comes at a break of the previous, like three lows, technically three lows, but the first two will be good enough, like 1.0766 roughly and 1.0726, and then obviously the previous fourth wave of wave C down at 1.04, right? So for me, this this thing here has a couple of uh, things I need talking about. So the first one is, so if we can mark wave C complete now at the highs, obviously we're looking for those confirmation moves. But at the same time, I did say that this is a sharp correction. So in order for us to complete the rest of this move i do believe that we will see a wave d right so the move that i'm sh shorting into now for me 
is presumably the start of uh, wave D, right? Um, so wave D should be looking like a zigzag pattern, right? How it exactly it forms a zigzag pattern, I'm not sure. Will it simply come back uh, to the bottom of the channel here? Because I've, I've, I've drawn in this channel. Uh, looking at the RSI, you know, wave B did reset. After it's moved down, it did reset at the lows. And I think that this move coming now, this zigzag down will reset at the lows as well before moving higher. Okay. Now, so obviously we don't know what that wave D will look like, right? But it needs to be some kind of zigzag pattern to come back to the lows to re to reset the RSI and prepare for the next leg up. I don't think it'll be a deep wave E. I just think it'll be like a significant meaning one. Like it, it'll, it'll definitely reset the RSI, um, but it'll also be a wave that it doesn't really belong there um, because of what comes after that, right? So, you know, in Elliott world, Elliott world, Elliott wave world, um, you know, having a ABC pattern is the complete correction. So if you're an Elliottitian, you probably look at this and you're already a bit confused because how many ABC look and type structures are there in here? You know, one more ABC structure and it'll probably drive an Elliottitian mad, who knows? But because Arius wave is a completely different methodology, it's, it's basically just indicating that, yes, it's a D wave, okay? When we see the break of the highs after we hit this low, a break of the highs will confirm wave E is in progress to the upside. Target is the previous wave four around 1.23, okay? So, but having said that though, I find it interesting because this is looking like it's going to turn out to be a CDE pattern. Now, a CDE pattern is simply put when you see this type of price action, E wave sort of can be similar in length to wave E, right? This is definitely an RES wave thing. So putting into perspective this type of thing, you know, it's, it's, it's an okay guide. It's an okay guide, but you know, I wouldn't be surprised if it goes just that little bit higher, which it can. Um, so really CDE pattern, it's it doesn't have to be the exact same length as wave C. The E wave does not have to be the same length as wave C, right? But it can be. So the whole point here, I suppose, is it doesn't really matter because we're trading wave D down at this point in time and once you see three waves down, there's a very cool way to trade that as well. Like I'll be tracking that if this is wave D. I know every wave exactly that it needs to have. I'm looking at roughly, um, you know, there's there's quite a few things that are gonna sort of give it away as it, as it moves, as we go on. I would expect that at the minimum it has to go down this low. For it to be any kind of meaningful move, it needs to be of, you know, a size that is visible from the hourly, right? Just to have a little zigzag like this here, like this, for example, that that's not really how it works, right? Um, there are certain waves that they have to be visible at all degrees. Otherwise, they don't really count as part of the structure. It's this weird thing that I've noticed over the years is that, you know, if you can't see it from space, right, from a bird's eye view, then really it, it doesn't count as what you think it is, you know, right? Because it just could be another wave in the whole thing. Like when I discovered Arius wave, I had to do a lot of back testing, right? Sometimes a lot of the charts, you didn't have the ability to zoom right in, but the waves are always there. And that's how I back tested it. So for me to assume that there's a wave hidden in there somewhere that's part of the structure, that's not really back testing, is it? It needs to be visible, very visible. Okay, and it will be visible. So it's not gonna be just like this type of move here, right? Looking like a zigzag, even though that's not a zigzag, it's one, two, three, four, five. The point is um, it needs to be visible and you will see it. It'll, it'll be noticeable at the hourly chart, even at the four hour chart, all right? 
at the four hour chart, it should be visible also. Okay. Like such, like so basically, All right? So obviously the higher degree you go, the more sharper this whole thing looks. We're, we're just so zoomed in that it looks kind of choppy, but that's relative to the perspective that you're looking at it from. So, so that's, that's the deal here. Oops, I've switched to another chart completely. One second. Yeah, so that's that's what I think is going on here. Uh, really, the whole week was just chop. There was no no point posting anything during that period of time with all that chop. Um, I don't know exactly how this wave is going to pan out. The way it's already started off to me, like I said, we need some confirmation. I mean, we could we could see this thing go in this manner like one two three four five pull back you know a b c d e and then you know one two three four five you know like i said it's got to be visible obviously the correction won't look like that but you know um the point is is there's a three wave structure that needs to happen here um even if it does break out of this channel it'll come right back into it again that's I, I am of that opinion that that will happen if it does break out of it because this correction is not done yet and it needs to go higher uh, reset rsi on the weekly before just coming all the way back down in a really sharp impulsive manner so if you want to be ahead of all these moves it's best to not jump the gun. You know, if you get confirmation bias after a while, take a break as I did for a few days, just to, you know, not make my next idea something that it's nowhere near, right? It's, it has to make sense, has to seem logical. At this point in time, if you don't want to short this, don't short it. There's nothing to say that you need to short this thing, right? You could just wait until we see a pullback before looking for ways to enter along because the trend is up regardless of whether it's a corrective pattern or not the trend is up right and and these as you can tell over the years whenever the market is moving in a particular direction it, it does so until its move is complete before it then goes the other way the exception would have been around 2015 to 16 where that big choppy mess was a pretty hellish but when you look at it from this perspective the arius wave perspective this wave four a b c d e is obviously a lot different than what we're seeing here for the for the abc down at the lows right with a b c and probably going to see d e right you're not going to see the same thing take what how many years like six years to complete here probably get it done in a fraction of the time and as i mentioned rsi on the weekly will go overbought you know it'll probably come down a bit now but then it'll go back up uh, maybe even in a weaker manner so hopefully you found this video interesting and informative thank you for